Hello traders, this is Rich Dare from TradeSite. Taking a look now at the uh, scans for market leading stocks for this coming session. This is going to be for Friday, April 19th, 2013. This is going to be the expiration Friday. So just keep keep in mind that the uh, the volume on the day will be kind of barbelled. We'll have a lot of volume in the morning. It'll kind of dry up over lunch. Then we'll get uh, more aggressive and see some more volumes and some big prints on the close for the actual expiration. Right now, as far as today's price action goes, we definitely have a very negative day going. There's a lot of weakness, in net, especially in the NASDAQ side. The uh, ranges, for the most part, have been expanded to the downside versus the gap down from the non-farm number. Last week, the uh, way the scans are stacking up right now, we're about 2 to 1 on the sell side. We've got a fair amount of CPS sell signals. But uh, I would think that uh, with some time still before the close today, we'll see a couple of those... Uh, start to kind of disappear because we tend to like to go into the uh, expiration a little more balanced off as far as uh, signals go which is kind of the nature of the beast uh, definitely a couple notable things here uh, SanDisk uh, very very weak today it's eight and a half percent or so below the uh, days open on uh, four times a typical volume got downside CPS sell signal uh, that was one that we caught here uh, short fairly early found a technical level and uh, had a really nice short trade there. Uh, Netflix also uh, notably weak, 4% below the open, a percent and a half below the VWAP, so definitely uh, very weak there. Got a volume bump in Apple. That's again weak. Played that again on a short side, piling on from yesterday's short under 419, so that's working again yet. Uh, Broadcom, uh, very weak with a volume bump. eBay is very weak also with a volume bump and a downside CPS signal. Those are all names I'm going to be uh, monitoring for tomorrow. As far as the financials go, um, more weak than positive. We did play the FAS on the short side today successfully, uh, but they're not giving as much as the rest of the market is. The real weakness is really concentrated in the uh, in the NASDAQ sector today. Energy names are, are starting to bounce back from that oversold condition. Uh, volume bumps in, in quite a few of them. ACI, which is volatile anyway, bouncing back fairly sharply. BTU's having a great day. Uh, that's 6.5% uh, above the open on twice the typical volume. Uh, we took a long in that this morning over the opening uh, five-minute high, and that's been playing out really, really well. So a nice, nice winner there in BTU on a, an upside trade in a very ugly tape. Moving on to the generals. Generals are uh, fairly well paid off here. Uh, we don't have the volume bumps as much as we were seeing in the NASDAQ sector because, as we had said, the, uh, the, real, the real damage is being done to the uh, NASDAQ names. A lot of volume here in UNH. We do have a camouflage buy signal. I want to keep on, an eye on that for tomorrow. And uh, got a volume bump in Walmart. And don't forget, with the generals especially, make sure you're uh, aware of where the options volume is in the beginning of the day in case they want to pin some of these to a particular strike price. Uh, as far as the housing names go, fairly sloppy. Um, this is the one broad market sector that's, that's getting pretty well beat up. Downside uh, CPS sell signal in DHI, NVR, and Hovnadian. Hovnadian is uh, almost 5% below the open. UPS, downside CPS sell signal. Uh, might want to watch that for uh, Monday, or Monday uh, after the expiration. Uh, as far as the commodities go, we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any real uh, signals here. Silver Wheaton's bouncing 5% uh, above the open off the zero waistline on the uh, on the daily chart. 158% uh, of the typical volume, so pretty good volume there. Uh, ABX also trades some, some pretty good volume in and right in around the, the area of today's open. All right, folks. So tomorrow's uh, expiration Friday, so trade smart, and hopefully we'll see you again. Uh, we'll see you again next week. This has been Rich for TradeSite. Thanks for listening.